Yo, what's up, young scholars? This is your boy, the extra large professor of Dad Cypher. And um, today I just want to give a reaction to the young lady, Shikari Richardson. As a father, my heart goes out to her. I just really literally wanted to go through the screen and just give her a, a big hug and let her know that, um, that I care and that I support her. And um, I'm so sorry that this happened. I'm not here to be an apologist. I know that she knows the rules. I know that even in spite of the fact that it, marijuana is totally legalized in Oregon, still nonetheless, she knows that's in her profession that it was against the rules. But I really love the fact that this young lady took accountability and I was so happy to see that interview that she did on the Today Show and how they allowed her to share her story without condemning her. Um, this message is not um, just for Shakori, however, and I want you to know, Shakori, if you are listening, that, that my heart goes out. But it's really a message to turn the camera away from you, young lady, and turn the camera to the community. In our communities, we have for so long dealt with all kinds of traumas, atrocities, whether it be historic, a lot of family traumas and that sort of thing. But one thing that we are powerless to is the trauma. No one uh, is really is responsible for the trauma that has been inflicted, but we all are responsible for how we heal from that trauma. And I wanna say in our communities, we have to send better messages to our young people about healing from trauma. So many times we look at sex, we look at food. I mean, myself, I'm, I'm guilty of it. Um, drugs, we look at all of these outside forms of escapism because we're trying to escape that despair. We have, we as African Americans and as people of color, we've always lived on these extremes of either heightened happiness or despair, when in actuality, the best place to dwell is in contentment. We have to be content as the Apostle Paul states, even when we're suffering or even when we have joy, we must live and keep that bubble in the middle. That's something that we have to work on in our communities. So how do we do that? We have to remember to continue to share our stories with young people. As parents, as elders, we have to tell the, the stories of how we were in the mud, was floundering in the mud, and how we came out of the mud in different ways of coping. We have to take the stigma away from mental health. We have to get our kids therapy as well as get them connected to whatever the higher power may be. We have to get that we have to do those things to let them know that while they are suffering, that we are there. It is support. You are not alone on the island. As young Mr. Richardson put, we are all human. And what connects us is the fact that we will all suffer. It's like, how do we heal from that? That young lady lost her mother and she found out about it through someone in the media. I will tell you this, as a young man at the age of 17, I found my grandmother passed away and I didn't know how to really deal with those emotions. I engaged in high risk behaviors, things that I'm not proud of as a man today because for so long, I just kept trying to figure out how do I make myself happy? How do I get out of this feeling? I didn't really learn until I got to college the importance of mental health, the importance of therapy. It was my therapist 
Dr. Ann Myers that really helped me a lot to just navigate these things. I was traumatic. I even passed some of those traumas to my own children as a dad. It's things, again, like I said, that I'm not uh, proud of. So I'm not surprised when a young lady who's 21 is suffering with that. Currently today, I still am in treatment. I still go to therapy because I know that each moment I have to take responsibility for my healing. So I have a great therapist in Dr. Snow uh, here in the McDonough area who helps me to deal with my shortcomings and my failings. One thing that I wanna tell young people and I wanna tell parents is that we have to tell our children that the midwives, and this is something that I learned from T.D. Jakes, the midwife to purpose is passion and pain. We have to tell our kids that they cannot have one or the other, but they must have both in unison. You must have passion, but you also have to learn how to endure the pain and trying to heal in a healthy way. My hopes is that grandma who gave Miss Richardson that hug will continue to surround her with a community that's going to support her and to let her know that it's okay that, you know what, the lesson that she did today, the talk that she did today, is probably more gratifying for me than anything she did on the track because she's showing young people how to get up from the mud and how to heal. She's not all the way where she wants to be, but she's on that journey. I want to say to Miss Richardson, I am proud of you for doing that interview. I'm proud of the lesson that you have given the village. I will use those lessons to tell my kids on different methods on try, how to cope with pain. I hope that we will not, uh, I, I pray that in the community, we will not look at it as a form of judgment, but look at it as a teachable moment to teach our, our people how to deal and cope with pain without falling victim to outside substances. I hope that we will learn how to endure and struggle and sit in it and learn from that so we can heal better in a way that's not stimulating us only from the stomach down, what we can adjust, what we can have sex with, what we can dance to, but stimulate us from the neck up where we can learn and endure and so iron can sharpen iron. So with that being said, I wanna to say to Ms. Richardson that we love you here at Dad Cipher. Um, we are praying for you, and that um, that I know that you are doing. You're going to make the changes in your life that's going to be worth more than any Olympic gold medal. I just want to say, keep learning, keep striving, and that you, as you eloquently put, you are human. And the fact that I am a human being as well, I want you to know that I see you, I feel for you, and I know you did not ask for empathy, but I empathize. This is the dad cipher, hugs and make sure dads that you hug and kiss your kids and that you show them how to deal with happiness and suffering and help them to live in a constant state of contentment. Stats Lodge Professor from that cipher. I'm out.